Hey, punters are ready to begin Melbourne Cup celebrations as we count down to the race that stops the nation. Sunrise correspondent Nathan Templeton is at the gate. Have they opened yet, Nathan? Well, Nat, uh, everyone else is counting down to that race at 3 o'clock. Just here, though, we're counting down in just a few seconds. The gates will open. 8.30 is meant to be the time. We're in the starters' hands. They're fully loaded in the barriers. You can see a gentleman just at the front of the line here. That's Bob. Excuse me. He got here at 6 o'clock. He, we believe he was the first one here. So people, there is a bit of cover here, but a lot of people have been standing out here in the rain, basically just to make sure they get their favourite spot. And last year we saw a huge stampede of people coming through. We're just listening to the officials now. They're waiting for the official call. Oh no, they've got some bad news. Hang on. What, what are what we waiting it? for? We're waiting for the train to arrive. We're waiting for the train to arrive. We're relying on Metro trains for this. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, they're not happy. <laughs> Bob, Bob, you've been here since six. What do you think about having to wait even longer? Very poor, actually. They should open, they say they open at 8.30. They should open at 8.30. <laughs> should open at 8.30. It's about 8.32 almost at the moment. Uh, Basil and Bruce were talking about how... Um, Basil and Bruce were talking about Matt Hill being under pressure uh, calling his first Melbourne Cup. I'm feeling a bit of pressure about calling uh, the gates opening and I think that uh, um. the officials here are under more pressure than anyone because these people are pretty keen to get in. Bob, why do you get here so early and where do you go when you get in? Uh, it's to put the seat I've got, that's all. Oh, okay. Undercover? Undercover, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, Madam, yeah. can you tell us what time Nathan. you got here? 10 to 7. 10 to 7 and where, where will you go? Yes, Natalie. So, Nathan, these people are, are going, going to, to rush in. And everybody else will want to go there. Yes. Right. Yeah, so it's pretty slippery conditions too, and there's a lot of stilettos. Some of viewers, they're going to oh. rush in and they're going to grab yes. their spot sort of right on, uh, on, the, um, on the fence, are mm -hmm. they? That's what they're waiting for. Post. Yeah, that's right. We're, we're about 50 metres from the back of the grandstand, so all these people will run through to the members, uh, to the grandstand there, they will then go through a tunnel or down, down the steps and that'll take them onto the grass or into the seated area. So we think there's going to be a fair bit of competition for all those spots under cover. The rain is clearing a little bit, but it is still pretty dreary. So I reckon people are going to be very keen to get those spots under cover. I'm just getting a little update here. Hold on a second. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. No, oh, we go. it's a false start. It's a false start. They're being, oh, they're being oh, taken oh, back into the barriers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disaster. This Hang on. This chaos. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, it's not a clean start. start. Stop, this is like winks a few starts has... back when uh, had all sorts of trouble in the barriers. There could be a protest, I think. Um, is there a protest? Oh, no, they, they are letting them through this now. I think they realise. No, I'm. Well, false. Yeah. I think they realise the horse has bolted, so to speak, so they've let them through. <laughs> I'll let them in. Excellent news. Well, they can't. Uh, they were trying to wait for the train to arrive to make it fair, I think. Hey, but I'll now be. they've realised you can't stop a group of very enthusiastic Melbourne Cup punters when they start stampeding. <laughs>